Minister of Education Anthony Garcia isn't happy that all schools fail to open on Monday. He expressed in his words consternation that one school in particular remained closed. Peter Christopher has more. Over the fact that it is the first time after more than two and a half years that all our schools will not open on time. Minister of Education Anthony Garcia admitting that the first day of school for 2018 did not go as planned. He confirmed that Kaibuchima East Secondary School, St. Joseph Secondary and Princess Dung East Secondary failed to open on Monday. But he had questions, particularly with regard to the St. Joseph School. As he said, a meeting was held last Thursday with stakeholders and it was agreed that enough work had been done on the troubled school building to allow classes to resume. It came as a shock to us to learn that teachers decided that they were withdrawing the services because the conditions in the school were not up to standard. When we had the OSH giving us the assurance that everything was okay for the reopening of school. The minister also questioned who sent out communication to parents to keep their children away from school. Who, who sent out that, uh, that communication? That came from whom? Yeah, that from the school. No, no, it couldn't come from the school. And this is what is concerned. What is of concern to us? Who sent that out? Mr. Meyer, you want to, you want to come in on that? And Mr. Meyer is the one who met with all the, all the authorities. He also had questions about the pigeon infestation, which forced the closure of the Kaipichaima School. That the Kaipichaima East Secondary School had an early dismissal due to pigeon infestation. The school supervisor three, the line school supervisor three for that school has been asked to investigate that situation. Because an infestation of pigeons and pigeon droppings would not happen overnight. The minister confirmed that the Princess Town East School continued to have problems with their central air conditioned unit. But he said while this problem was being rectified, students would be temporarily housed at the Princess Song Secondary School. Peter Christopher, C News.